Hello everyone and welcome back to The Perfect French with Milan. Today we are on chapter 23 of the French vocabulary course. We are going from page 229 to 232. We have only one exercise for this one, it's going to be 23.1. I don't have much of an intro for this lesson because all we are going to see today are homophones. Words that sound the same, have the same spelling sometimes, but have very different meanings. Very interesting to see, so let's start. Accro or un accro. Accro is an adjective that means addicted, and also un accro, which is a tear in your clothes. Accro. This one, many of you already know it. We have une amende, une amende. Une amende, une amende. Une amende with an A is an amende, while une amende is a fine. It's all in the context in the conversation. If you talk about a recipe of food, well, obviously, it is not going to be a fine. It is going to be the other one. Make sense? This one is very interesting. We have un hôtel, un hôtel, un hôtel, un hôtel. So we have the altar at the church and a hotel. Un auteur, la hauteur. Un auteur, la hauteur. So un auteur writes book, la hauteur is the I. I'm sure just like amende, you know this one, un avocat, un avocat. Un avocat is a lawyer, but it's also an avocado in French. Un avocat, un avocat. Un bar, une bar. Un bar, une bar. Un bar, a bar, and une bar, well, it's a bar as well, simply different context and different spelling. So un bar is at the pub, une bar is, for example, at the a dance studio, une bar. Un brin, brin, un brin, brin. Un brin is a strand and brin means brown, simply. This one is interesting, we have sel which means that for the feminine singular, sel. Then we have le sel, which is salt. Le sel. Une selle. Une selle is the, a saddle for a horse, but it's also for uh, the bike. Une selle. And then we have le sel. Le sel, which is a nice term for feces. Le sel. Sans le sang, sans. Sans, 100, sans, le sang, blood, le sang, and sans means without. Sans, sans, sans. I don't know if you know this one, but we have un champ, un champ. Pronounce the same, different spelling, different meaning. Un champ is a field, un champ is a song. Un champ, un champ. I talk about this one quite often, actually. We have le champagne, la champagne. When it's masculine, this is the alcohol, champagne. When it's feminine, this is the area, la champagne, the province, champagne. Three different ones for this one. As well, we have la chair, 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 and chair, chair. So, la chair, the first one is the flesh. Flesh, la chair, then we have chair, chair, which means dear, it's an adjective, and we have another adjective, it's chair and chair as well, which means expensive. La chair, chair, chair. Okay? Here gender are quite important, we have le chèvre and une chèvre. So masculine is going to be goat cheese, but when we talk about the feminine, it's a goat. Le chèvre, une chèvre. Cœur and cœur. Un cœur, so with the H is the singing one, and le cœur is the hurt. Un cœur, un cœur. Une, chouette, chouette. Une, chouette, chouette. So chouette is great, nice, it's an adjective, but we have une chouette, which is an owl. Une chouette, an owl. 
And because I know you are going to ask, we also have un hibou. Un hibou, une chouette. There are two different animals in French. For you, there are only one. So it is. Content, content. Content, content. Content, which comes from compter, to count, means to pay cash. Okay, because you have to count it. Compter, content. And then we have content, which is happy. Content, content. Le coup, le coup, le coup. <laughs> le coup is the neck. Le coup with a P is the shot. And le coup with the accent is the cost. Le coup, le coup, le coup. This one. La cour, le cour, le cour, cour. Okay, so la cour is the courtyard. La cour. But we can also have le cours, le cours de français, which is a course. We also have le cours with a T, which is a tennis court. And finally, we have cours, the adjective, which means short. La cour, le cours, le cours, and cour. I shared this one on my Instagram a few days ago. It's le signe, le signe. Le signe is a swan and le signe is a sign. Le signe, le signe. This one I shared it as well. Une encre, de l'encre. Une encre, de l'encre. Une encre, an anchor. De l'encre, ink. Être, un être, un être. Oui, yeah. être is the verb to be. You probably know this one if you study even an hour of French. Then we have un être, which is a being. Un être humain, par exemple, a human being. Un être. And finally, the last one is a tree. Simply. This one is interesting. La fin, la fin, la fin, la fin. La fin is hunger and la fin, F-E-N, is the end. I think this one is easy to remember because at the end of a lot of movies, we say la fin. So that's why it's easy. Le phare à paupières, un phare. Le phare à paupières, so it's the makeup, okay? Un phare is a lighthouse can also be just a light for your car, a lighthouse or a light. Here we have un and une, two different gender. Un fil is a thread, a string, and une fil is a line, a cue. Un fil, une fil. Un fil, une fil. Un filtre, un filtre. You're probably going to use only the first one. Un filtre, which is a filter, so for Instagram, or if you edit photos, etc. And then we have un filtre, PH, which is a potion. Un filtre. Un flan, le flan. Un flan is the pudding, so the food. And le flan is the flank. Un flan, le flan. I think you're going to use more the first one, but who knows. Un flan. This one. La foi, le foi, une fois. So la foi is the faith, and then we have le foi, which is the liver, and une foi is once, basically. Le foi, la foi, une foi. Foi. This one, we have a difference between singular and plural. Le fond is the bottom, bottom of something. Le fond d'une bouteille, the bottom of the bottle. And then, les fonds are the funds, money-wise. Les fonds. Fonds, fonds. I should have said that at the beginning. I did not include all the different types of conjugation. That could be, because then we have much, 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 much more. I did not, because it would be too much. Because fond could be the verb fondre, and it could also be the verb uh, faire. So it's, it's a little bit messy if we start including verbs. So I think I included two in the list in the book, I believe. I believe. Un gène, la gène. Un gène is the gene, so what we are made of. And then la gène is the embarrassment. Un gène, la gène. I used to say to my student to remember it with la gène, 
with the little hat because you just want to hide yourself. Okay, because of embarrassment. La gêne. You just want to hide yourself. So the one with the little hat. I don't know if it helps. Gref and gref. Le gref is the clerk, so at the courthouse. But un gref is a transplant. La, le gref, une gref. Le gref, une gref. Ooh, this one, I like this one. Le hockey, le hockey. Le hockey, le hockey. So le hockey, with a y at the end, just like the English one, is the sport. While le hockey, with a T, is a hiccup. Le hockey. Share this one as well on my Instagram. Un lac, la lac. Un lac, la lac. So we have un lac, it's a lake. La lac is the hairspray to just hold everything together. Un lac, la lac. Les, le lait. Lait, le lait. I have a dad joke for you. <laughs> this one. Lait is ugly. And le lait is milk. One of the most common dad joke in French is when you say, oh, do you want some milk? And the person will reply, no, I'm ugly enough. Est-ce que tu veux du lait? Non, je suis assez lait. Dad joke. Leur, leur, leur. So, l'heure and l'heure, the, well, the two first one I mean, are quite similar because we have there and then we have theirs and then we have them. So, it's kind of uh, in the same group. But then we have l'heure, which is the hour or the time. Could be both actually. L'heure, hour or time. Un livre, une livre. Un livre is a book. Une livre is a pound for cooking. So, it's uh, the measurement. Un livre, une livre. Mode, mode. So le mode, the masculine one, is the method, is how you do something. La mode is fashion. Le mode, la mode. Le mode, la mode. Mère, mère, mère. Le mère is the mayor. La mère is the sea. La mère is mother. So, le mère, la mère, la mère. Mais, 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 un mais. <laughs> so, mais with nothing is the month. It's May. Then we have mais, which is but. And mais, this one, well, can be pronounced mais and mais, but I still added it here, is my. And then we have un mais which is a dish or a delicacy. It can be both. So, mais, 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 un mais. This one, the pronunciation changes slightly. We have le maître and maître. Le maître is a longer e, maître. And then we have maître, which is a short e. So, le maître is master. And maître is to put. Slight different in pronunciation with this one as well. We have mal, le mal, un mal, une mal. Did you hear which one was different? We have mal, which is the adjective and it means wrong. Le mal can be either evil or pain, le mal. And then we have un mal, which is a long a, un mal, it's a male. And then we have une mal, which is a trunk. Mal, le mal, un mal et une mal. Le mémoire, la mémoire. Different gender for those as well. Le mémoire is a memoir, simply. And la mémoire is memory, your head. Le mémoire, la mémoire. You try to remember it as la mémoire is in your head and your head in French is féminine, la tête. La tête, la mémoire. Okay? For those two, uh, the meaning is very close. It's just two different things. So we have le mort, la mort. Le mort is a dead person. La mort is death. So we have le mort, which is the person, is the result of la mort. Okay? Mort. Moule, moule. Le moule, 
masculine is a mold. So it's either to uh, make something out of it or a cake or things like that. And then la moule is a muscle. La moule. Moule, moule. Mur, mur, mur. <laughs> un mur is a wall. Mur is aged. Mur is rip. And then we have une mur, which is a blackberry. Mur, mur, mur. You probably know this one, but you never realize that it's the same spelling, just very two different words. We have neuf and neuf. Neuf means new, but it's also the number for nine. Neuf and neuf. Neuf. This one is easy. Un nom. Un nom. It's either the last name or a noun. And we have no. I guess I could have just separate this one. So a last name and then a noun. And no simply means no. No. No, no, no. This one usually has a lot of success in the classroom. <laughs> we have une paix, which is a pay. It can also be une pay. I personally say une pay because the verb payer. So it's easier to keep everything together. Then we have la paix, which is peace. And un paix, which is a fart. Une paix, la paix. Un pain. Un pain and un pain. Un pain is a bread, a loaf of bread. And un pain is a pine tree. Un pain, un pain. Pronounce the exact same way. Père, 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 père. Père is an adjective that means even. Les nombres pères. Un père is a peer. And then we have une paire, which is just like in English, it's a pair. And then we have le père, father. Père, 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 père. Two for this one, we have par and une part. Par means by, it can also mean pair in some circumstances. And then we have une part, a part. Une part. Par and par. Parti. Parti. We have un parti, une partie, une partie. Un parti is a political party. Un parti. Une partie is a game, but it's also a part. Parti. I like this one. Even though the pronunciation changes slightly, we have la pâte, les pâtes, une pâte. So la pâte is the dough. That's how it is. Les pâtes is pasta and they are always, always plural. Always. Les pâtes. If you put it singular, it's going to mean the dough, not pasta. And then we have une pâte, which is une pâte, uh, a pot, <laughs> like for the dog, for cats, and more. Pâte. But technically it's pâte, long, les pâtes, long, and une pâte, short. Okay? Poil. Un poil. Une poil. Un poil. Un poil is a stove. Un poil. Une poil is a pan to cook. And un poil is a hair. But it's a body hair. It's not a hair in your head. That's un cheveu. Un poil, I don't have much, but um, it's anything on your arm, on your legs. It's un poil. Okay, it's body hair. Un poil. We are almost done. Stay with me. We have le poids, un poids. Le poids, un poids. Le poids is the weight, and then un poids is a pi. Le poids, un poids. Point. Point and point. We have le point is the fist. And un point is either a point or a dot. Un point. Porc. Le porc with a C is the pork. And then porc with a T is the herb word. Porc and porc. We saw two, maybe we saw the three of them actually in this course, I think. We have le pouce, un pouce, la pouce. So le pouce is the thumb. Un pouce is an inch, an inch. And then la pouce is the sprout, when you grow vegetables and things like that. Pouce, 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 okay? Pré and pré, very common mistake among 
French learners, and I can understand why. Près is an adjective and it means near, close by. But près with a T is an adjective as well and it means ready. Près. Près. Une pub, un pub. This one, the pronunciation differ because we keep the English pronunciation. But I did it more for the gender. Because une pub is an advertisement in French. But un pub is a bar. A pub. So make sure to use the correct gender. Quand, quand, and quand. Oh yeah. Quand is an adverb, it means when. Quand with a T means as for. It's not the one that you are going to encounter the most. The one with D is the most common one. And then we have un camp, which is a camp. Un camp. This one is interesting. We have une règle. Une règle. Les règles. So here it's, they're all feminine. It's more about the singular and plural. Une règle is a rule. Une règle is a ruler. And les règles are period. So when it's plural, it's most likely going to be period. So period as people who have periods. Okay? This one. Une reine, un reine. Same pronunciation, different gender. Une reine means a queen, la reine d'Angleterre. And then un reine is a reindeer. Une reine, un reine. This one is cute. We have une rose, le rose. Une rose is a rose, it's the flower. And then le rose is the same, but it's pink. So une rose, le rose. Une roue, un roue. Une roue, un roue. Une roue is a wheel. Un roue is a redhead. Simply. So, so, and so. They have very different, different meanings. So we have un saut, which comes from the verb sauter. Un saut is a jump. And then we have un saut with the C. It's a stamp. And then we have un saut, which is a bucket. Un saut, un saut, un saut. Different gender once again. Le sol, une sol. Le sol is the floor in the house and une sol is the fish, simply. Le sol, une sol. This one is interesting. We have temps, temps, temps and temps, obviously. Temps is as much as many. Le temps is also the weather, but it can also be the time. Le temps, the time. And then un temps is also a tense. Explain you so many of them in the conjugation course. So that's un temps, a tense. You know this one, I'm sure it was everywhere at one point. We have le ton, ton, and then un ton. Le ton is tu now. And we have ton, which is your. And then we have un ton, which is a tone. So le ton, when you speak. Okay? Le ton, ton, un ton. I did not add ton ton. No, I did not add it. Tic, tic, tic. Un tic is a tic. And then une tic, different gender, is a tic. The one that goes into your skin to get your blood. How gross. Un tic, une tic. We are getting close to the end. We have une tour, un tour. Une tour, un tour. Une tour is a tower. Une tour, a tower. But un tour is a tour. Simply. Un tour. This one is good. We have vin, le vin, vin. Vin, le vin, vin. Vin is superficial. Simply. Le vin is wine. And vin is 20. Vin, le vin, vin. Different genders, once again, la vase, un vase. La vase is the mud, but when you go, uh, for example, at the bottom of a lake, when you enter a lake and it's all muddy, we call that la vase. Okay, it's not the mud just in the street or on a field. La vase is very typical for like areas where there's water already. And then we have un vase, which is a vase. Easy. Five different ones for this one. We have un verre. Un verre is a worm. 
un verre, R-R-E, is a glass. Verre, V-E-R-S, is two words. Un verre, V-E-R-S, is a verse in a, in a poem. And then we have verre, which is green. Verre, 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 verre. Un voile, la voile. Un voile is when you get married, you know, the veil. Un voile, and then la voile is the sail. Un voile, la voile. And that's it for this one. When you feel comfortable with the subject, you can do the exercise, the only one for this one. 22.1. Next lesson, number 24 of the course, is going to be about English words used in French. So all the vocabulary that you already know, isn't it great? So don't forget to subscribe and like this video because it really helps me. And I will see you on Monday for a new lesson. À lundi. Thank you.